I'm Brownie Carson. I want to welcome you all. It's very important, increasingly important, that the environmental community and citizen activists and business people uh, step out together to change environmental policy and to protect all that we care about um, for our children and grandchildren in the long-term future. And that's really what NRCM and all of us are all about. The first award tonight is um, to Russ Pierce, taking on the largest private landowner in the United Russ States. Pierce of Norman Hansen and Detroit did this, and he didn't fat him. Faced with a legion of lawyers for Plum Creek, and they hired six law firms in Maine and brought their own legal counsel uh, with uh, sort of attendance from Seattle. Um, we were outgunned, but as they say in the Maine woods, never outsmarted. NRCM staff and legal team labored through three, then four, then five versions of the plan. Uh, Russ helped us organize the testimony of our witnesses and read, evaluated, and prepared cross-examination for over 170 Plum Creek and other witnesses. As you can tell, this was no garden variety legal case. His passion for protecting Moosehead region was evident from the very beginning. His love of hiking and the outdoors make it a real joy to work with him because you're not just working with a lawyer, you're working with a kindred soul. While the final chapter of the Plum Creek Saga has yet to be written, the current plan includes more conservation land, development has been removed from many remote ponds, and the number of shorefront lots has been scaled way Your passion, your intelligence, your hard work, and your unwavering commitment to this cause, Russ, I want to say thank you. say what an honor it has been, uh, a truly an honor for me to work uh, with NRCM uh, over these past several years, uh, working to protect the Moosehead Lake region um, and this treasured part of Maine. Uh, I'm, I'm honored to have been given this opportunity. Um, the staff at NRB, NRCM uh, is devoted, dedicated. We all felt it that something of pivotal significance was about to begin. Um, thousands upon thousands, literally, whether or not formerly members of NRCM, but supporters of the cause, and the many, many people uh, who were brave enough and true to their beliefs to stand up in an auditorium or a hall full of people and to speak out eloquently and forcefully uh, against this plan um, Maine has never seen anything like it. This is why I went to law school. This is a cause we must take up. We all must take up. And it's a cause we all believe in. I'm honored, truly honored, to have had the opportunity um, to work with so many dedicated people at NRCM uh, to elevate and protect those conservation values. So, I thank you. Eleanor Kenny, our board chair. As a party to the Penobscot River Restoration Agreement, the Natural Resources Council of Maine is pr proud to honor Scott Hall and Richard Fennelly of PPL Maine for their role in making this historic river restoration a reality. Fully implemented, it will significantly improve access to nearly 1,000 miles of historic spawning habitat to enable the restoration of Atlantic salmon and other na native sea-run fish while maintaining hydropower. In the, pan in the past, the Penobscot River teemed with millions of fish, fish that nourished the people and culture of the Penobscot Nation, fed eagles, bear, and other wildlife, added vital nutrients to the river, and replenished the Gulf of Maine. Under the Penobscot Agreement, hundreds of thousands of fish will return annually to the river, bringing environmental, cultural, recreational, and economic benefits. The project is widely hailed a national model of collaboration, benefiting all parties, including the fish. This project took strong leadership and vision. For their leadership and collaboration in the restoration of the river, we are honored to recognize Scott Hall, Dick Fennelly, and PPL Maine with the 2009 Environmental Award. Thank you very much. Uh, just real briefly, PPL's uh, support and uh, allowing us to have support, the flexibility to have the discussions, um, it, it really allowed us to be in a position to be creative. Um, you might wonder what a weeby is. We'd be, we be here when they came and we'd be here when they're gone. <laughs> so, 
And we all really took that to heart because we had a job to do. We had responsibilities to the company. We had responsibilities to the environment and to the river. We had responsibilities to our families. We raise our children in the area. We live there. We're part of the community as well. So that was an important component for all of us. Again, thank you very much. We definitely appreciate the recognition, and we look forward to fully implementing the agreement as we go forward. Thank you very much. I really was surprised to be recognized in this way. I never expected it. As Scott pointed out, we're only two people at a table that had a large number of people around it. It was a collaborative effort. It was a wonderful experience for me personally, very personally gratifying to have started at the beginning nearly 10 years ago. It's very, very satisfying and gratifying to get to such, in my opinion, a successful win-win agreement. And so thanks again. We really do appreciate the recognition. It's great. Thank you.